Well, okay, I'll be real. I was not expecting this from Anthropic. Out of nowhere, Claude Code on the web, like they actually called it that. Claude Code on the web. Not gonna lie, the name made me smile. I get it. Claude Code is their brand now, but uh, naming is not their strong suit. Still, what they just dropped is basically their own Codex Cloud. And honestly, I was curious, is it just another AI code editor you can open in your browser? Or is there something here that actually moves the the needle for solo devs like us? So let's see what's actually new, what's just marketing and what if anything, is going to make my next coding sprint smoother. Just real quick, I'm Daniel. Been living in the iOS trenches for, what, eight years now? Started off freelancing, working with clients, figuring out what actually works, and what just burns you out. But after Dub Dub 25, I kind of flipped the switch and went all in on solo dev life. Since then, I've shipped a bunch of my own apps, started putting everything out there in public, and honestly... These days, pretty much all my energy is going into Crafter's Lab. This isn't just another tutorial site or another AI clone farm. This is my actual home base for solo devs who treat AI like a real teammate, not just a vending machine. It's packed with like solo devs resources and access to my live command center. This is where I actually plan out new apps, draft the docs, write my .md files, and share the real process behind every build. There's a full curated Swift and Swift UI library in there too. Basically, all the deep dive resources I actually use to fine tune, train, and power up Claude or Codex. And the newest piece, Ops Lab, is where I'm building and sharing all my AI agent systems. Those Notion setups, workflows, and automations that keep the whole indie stack connected. So. Yeah, if you want your own command center and not have to start from scratch. And honestly, if you want to get in early and lock your membership, now is kind of the sweet spot. And yeah, if you're part of the Patreon crew, huge thanks. And heads up, everything's moving over to crafterslab.dev. Let's get the basics out of the way. Anthropic's new drop is exactly what it says on the tin. Claude code, but running entirely in your browser. No setup, no local shell, no CLI, nothing to install. You just hit the link and you're coding with Claude. If you've ever used OpenAI's Codex in the cloud, you'll get the gist instantly. It's a cloud workspace. You can open files, run code, let the model edit stuff, and all the heavy lifting happens on their servers. Anthropic is pitching this as accessible from anywhere, with nothing to install. And yeah, that's accurate. It's literally point, click, and you're in. But the real pitch isn't about access, it's about workflow. Anthropic keeps hammering on conversational coding. The idea that instead of just tossing prompts at the model and hoping for a decent snippet, you can actually collaborate with Claude. The article calls out that this is more than just Cody Gen. It's meant to feel like you're working alongside a real teammate, not just ordering a code burger from a drive through And that's honestly the right direction, at least in theory. For me though, here's the big litmus test. Does this cloud setup actually feel different from Codex cursor, or even just using Claude code locally with a decent CLI setup? Is there any solo dev pain that actually gets lighter because you're using this web tool? Or is it just, you know, uh, Claude code with a different URL? So let's get into it. Okay, so here's what Anthropic is selling. Conversational coding in the cloud. They show you that you can chat back and forth with Claude, highlight a bug, ask for a quick plan, or have it walk through a file. It's all real time, all in the browser. And crucially, it's built for collaboration, even if your teammate is an AI. Now, I've got to be honest, if you're coming from the old prompt, hope, and paste school of AI tools, this does feel smoother. The biggest pain with Codex, and even with some local Claude workflows, is that it's always a one-off and rinse and repeat. With Claude code on the web, you're inside a project. Files are right there. You can ask for a refactor, see the diff, and even run stuff in the browser. You're not bouncing between tools and you're not fighting your local shell or permissions. For new devs or folks who want zero setup, that's a real plus. But 
honestly, for solo devs who already have a good CLI Claude code setup like I do, the cloud part doesn't solve any burning pain for me. In fact, there's a bit of a trade-off. You lose some of the power and trust that comes with running stuff locally. For example, on my own machine, I can wire up custom scripts, let Claude talk to my test harness, or even automate repetitive chores. In the cloud, you're limited to whatever tools, anthropic bundles, and at least right now, that's not the full toolbox. You get a code editor, you get AI suggestions, but you don't get your own scripts or your full dev environment. What does stand out though is the collaboration angle. Anthropic really wants you to feel like you're working with a junior dev. You can highlight code, ask for a plan, have it explain or test something and iterate in one place. That conversational loop is genuinely smoother here than in Codex, and honestly, way less frictiony than jumping back and forth with Cursor or GPT. If you're coaching someone or onboarding a new project or just want a lightweight dev playground to try stuff out, yeah, this nails that. The flip side is you do sacrifice some power, at least for now. No custom Claude.md, no weird bash scripts, no magic shell helpers. For a lot of indie devs, your weird scripts are half the fun. Here you get the safe version of Claude code. Great for learning, prototyping, maybe even pair programming with the AI, but not a full power user environment. That's a trade-off every solo dev will have to weigh. Here's where I'm going to get real. Claude code on the web is... At its heart, Anthropic's take on Codex in the browser, but with their flavor of collaborative AI. The big marketing claim is that it's more conversational, safer, and more reliable. And sure, Claude is pretty good at staying on track, asking clarifying questions, and not just hallucinating wild code out of nowhere. The safety prompts and permission checks are built in, which means you're a little less likely to nuke your project by accident. But if you read between the lines, what Anthropic is actually doing here is catching up with what solo devs have been hacking together for the last year, a shared persistent AI coding session in the cloud with enough handholding to keep you safe, but enough flexibility to still get stuff done. Is it revolutionary? Nah. Is it more polished than uh, the classic Codex Playground? For sure, the conversational interface is clean, the context management is good, and the ability to see file diffs and explanations right in the UI is genuinely helpful. For me, though, the magic is still in how you work with Claude, not where it runs. If you already treat Claude like a real teammate, writing a living Claude.md, running your own scripts, iterating and collaborating in your own shell, honestly, this is just another interface. But for folks who've been on the fence or hate local setup or want a JustWorks cloud tool for learning and prototyping, it's a big step up from the Codex days. And I'll say this, if you're trying to teach someone onboard a new dev or just want to try out conversational coding without setting up a CLI, Claude Code on the web is the easiest way to get a feel for, for that workflow. All right, so here's the thing. If you're still here, seriously, you're a legend. I appreciate you sticking around through this whole breakdown. And yeah, if what I said resonated, just go check out uh, crafterslab.dev. I mean, honestly, that's the place where I'm throwing everything I wish I'd had when I started actual behind the scenes, not just code snippets. There's a Discord if you want to stay accountable, swap ideas, or just see a little clearer through the solo dev fog. There's a bunch of resources in the pipeline like at Blueprints, Figma Foundations, Growth Insight stuff, all built to save you those late nights and wild goose chases. And yeah, there's the Notion workspace with these dedicated team spaces. There's the Playbook, which is basically my live command center where I plan apps, write docs, and actually show my thinking, not just the highlight reel. Swift Brain. That's my curated Swift and Swift UI library, all the deep dive stuff I use to train, fine tune, and even steer tools like Claude, Cursor, and Codex. And the newest one, Ops Lab, that's where I'm building and sharing my AI agent systems, all the Notion workflows, 
and automations that glue this whole indie stack together, put it all together, you get what I'm calling crafter OS. It's basically this like evolving operating system for solo developers who actually want to treat AI like a teammate, not a vending machine. I'm still refining it, still breaking stuff, still experimenting. But yeah, that's honestly the fun part. So if you want to get in early, lock in your spot or just see what's next. Now is kind of the sweet spot. So yeah, thanks again for hanging out, you know, and if you ever feel stuck or just need a place to get clear, you know where to find me, like subscribe, send this to a friend if it helps, and don't let anybody tell you there's only one right way to build. Just use what makes you ship. All right, I'll catch you next time. Peace.